This slideshow is for um, those of you who have read through the introduction to introductory logic. We're going to uh, work through the definitions, see if you can't get them semi-memorized, and go over uh, the last section about the branches of logic. Here's a quick overview of the definitions that are in the introduction. Here we go. Logic. Logic is the science and art of reasoning well. I'll let you read it to yourself one time. And the next slide, there'll be a missing blank for you to fill in. Logic is the and art of reasoning well. Logic is the and of reasoning well. Logic is the and of well. Logic is and of. Can you do it on your own? What is logic? Our next definition is the law of excluded middle. The definition is any statement is either true or false. That's a pretty simple one. I'll let you read it by yourself and maybe the comic strip too. The law of excluded middle. Any statement is either or the law of excluded middle. Any is either or the law of excluded middle. Any is or last one. Can you tell me what is the law of excluded middle? Let's talk about the law of identity. This is another easy one. If a statement is true, then it is true. You ready? I'll let you read it to yourself one time. The law of identity. If a statement is, then it is. The law of identity. If a is, then it is. Last one, can you tell me what is the law of identity? The law of non-contradiction. You'll see at the top there appear to be two road signs that are contradicting each other. The law of contradiction. A statement cannot be both true and false. I'll let you read it on your own and we'll get started. The law of non-contradiction. A statement cannot be both and false. The law of non-contradiction. A statement cannot be both and the law of non-contradiction. A cannot be and the law of non-contradiction. A B and can you tell me what is the law of non-contradiction? Here's a quote from an Islamic philosopher. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Avincia? Avin, Avis, Avicenna? So he said, anyone who denies the law of non-contradiction should be beaten and burned until he admits that to be beaten is not the same as not to be beaten, and to be burned is not the same as not to be burned. Uh, this book is a logic book. Logic can be broken into two main branches, formal and informal. When you guys read The Fallacy Detective, you were studying a branch of informal logic. This book is going to cover 
some more infor informal logic, and then I believe it's going to tiptoe in a, into a little bit of formal logic um, when we study categorical logic. Uh, a definition for informal logic deals with operations of thinking that are indirectly related to reasoning. A definition for formal logic, it deals with proper modes of reasoning, and formal logic can be even further divided into two, man, two main branches. There's induction and there's deduction, and let's look at the, what's the same. Induction is reasoning, and deduction is reasoning, but induction is reasoning with probability, and deduction is reasoning with certainty. Induction is reasoning with probability from examples or experience to general rules. Deduction is reasoning with certainty from premises to conclusions. That's it. That's the introduction.